Patricia A. Porter originally hails from East Texas, but it was on her first day in college when she met her beloved husband-to-be, Bob Porter, that her contagious love for the arts was born. A jazz musician and film critic, it is Bob who had credits for encouraging her influential career within the arts, a career that includes a decade with the Dallas Museum of Art, a decade with the Southern Methodist University, and 21 years leading North Texas Business for Culture and the Arts, founded at the personal request of Raymond D. Nasher. For more than 40 years, Pat Porter has made her indelible mark in the North Texas region by bringing arts and business together. Her energy and passion for art support have touched us all, and her commitment and dedication have brought to life the cultural landscape that we enjoy today. She's a visionary leader in the North Texas community, and we honor that leadership today with a few words from Pat's friends, family, and colleagues. Pat has a, such a broad understanding of, of virtually every arts organization in this city and in the region that, that you can't help but, but learn things just interacting with her. And so she broadened our view of what was out there. She broadened our view of what the needs were in the arts community. Uh, she broadened our view of how we might participate in that. And, and uh, you, you can't, you, if you're going to associate with Pat Porter, you're going to learn about the arts in Dallas. I knew about Pat Porter before we met because she was doing great things with the city, uh, the DMA, SMU. And the people that she has individually mentored through the program at SMU, uh, the arts management program there, which she helped start, is, uh, I think has benefited the city more than anyone can put a price tag to. That's her life. And she has encouraged others to get involved with that. And of course, we're just about to have the Arts District, which is a huge effort by everyone. Those who have funded, those who have planned, those who have built. And Pat's little fingerprints are right in the middle of that. And um, you know, she's going to live to see it. I'm going to live to see it. It's, there's a real gift to all of us who are alive in Dallas at this time because we get to be part of the building of what Dallas will be known for for 50 years. Pat and Ray had a tremendous relationship, and I had both the privilege and the honor to work with both of them. And they both brought specific strengths to DBCA and NTBCA. She has this uncanny ability to make people feel smarter, to make them feel more special, uh, to make them feel more important than probably any of us really are. She's just so filled with life. All I remember is every time I've ever been with Pat, she's been smiling. You know, when I close my eyes and think of Pat, I see smiling. I see her moving forward towards somebody, usually saying, darling. Um, and I see her enthusiastic about uh, some project or something about the city or something about the arts. One of the smartest things that Ray Nasher did was to invite Pat to be the executive director for the Dallas Business Committee for the uh, Culture and the Arts. And she's just done a fabulous job. She has a wonderful, energetic, non-threatening way of encouraging people to be involved with the arts. Our PR firm actually brought Pat in to help us with that process. And of course, she came flying in here like she does everywhere. And you know, if you're going to go on a walk with Pat, you need to have on athletic shoes. And, and she came flying in here with all of her enthusiasm and all of her passion. And before she left, I think I was about to join about five boards. The world seems perfectly fine. The room seems perfectly fine. And then she enters it. There's this new light. There's these new colors that you hadn't imagined before. She just brings them to the room. But when she leaves the room, interestingly enough, the room doesn't empty out. You know, there are people, they leave the room and they're gone. What she brought to the room stays there. She manages to put to people together at cocktail parties that you find out things within two minutes of being introduced by Pat through her introduction because she remembers everything about everybody that suddenly it's like you've been lifelong friends. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's an amazing gift, but she sees the, the, the best opportunity in everybody and everything and is always able to get those together to converge at exactly the right moment so everybody gets what they want, everybody's happy, and something comes out of that collaboration that's, that's better than you even imagined. 
Pat has an, an unbelievable knack of, of pulling people in and getting them involved and getting them excited and her passion just translates to all of these other people. Pat doesn't even realize the influence that she has had in the art community. She has such a, a happy, wonderful way of helping you however she can. And I remember once at D-Art, she and I dressed up like trees. We had tree costumes on and we went down to El pa um, uh, De Bellum to, um, we were advertising some event and no one would get in the tree costume except my friend Pat. So I'll bet if you ask anybody, they're going to not remember meeting Pat, but thinking they've known her since they were children. Pat always talked about her family. She always talked about the things that they did as a family. And so I know that while I knew her more with NTBCA. I know she always took the time to make sure that her family knew that they were as special to her as, as she made all the rest of us feel like we were. We always got to do all the things that, um, that other people didn't get to do. We, we got to go to the theater, we got to go to the museums, we got to go to movies, we got to meet uh, people. It was, um, it was kind of a glorious uh, childhood. I don't know how many people any of us can meet in a year. If she never lets any of us go, it's sort of like that Verizon ad where you turn around and you've got millions of people behind you. Well, those are all of Pat's friends. <laughs> and she just doesn't let any of us go, and it's just great to be loved by Pat. I'll bet if you filmed her watching this, she's going to look very uncomfortable because Pat doesn't like the... the the spotlight on her. She wants herself to be shining a spotlight on making things better for others. Pat, thank you from all of us. From the past and current NTBCA staff and board members, to the hundreds of arts agencies you have helped to support, from the businesses, city agencies, and universities that you have advised, to the many students and friends that you mentored with your kind and generous wisdom. We're all forever changed for the better as a result of your friendship leadership and love. We ask for many blessings to be bestowed upon you and your family for many years to come.